Dear friends, in the ebb and flow of life, there are moments when it feels like everything is unraveling and the world is collapsing around us. If you find yourself in such a season, I want to share with you a message of hope and encouragement. Even when it seems like everything is going wrong, there is a source of strength that can anchor us in the storm. Let's explore together how to find God's strength in the midst of adversity. John 16, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Life is filled with challenges and experiencing difficulties is a part of the human journey. Jesus himself acknowledged the inevitability of troubles, but he encourages us to find peace in him, knowing that he has overcome the world. Philippians 4, 6, 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When everything seems to be falling apart, turn to God in prayer. Pour out your heart to Him, expressing your fears, anxieties, and hopes. In the midst of chaos, prayer becomes a powerful connection to the peace that transcends understanding, guarding our hearts and minds. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. Even when circumstances are bewildering, trust in God's sovereignty. Lean not on your own understanding but submit to Him completely. As we surrender to God's guidance, He promises to make our paths straight, leading us through the chaos with divine wisdom. Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Though it may not be clear in the moment, God works even the most challenging situations for our good. In times of upheaval, seek the purpose that God may be unfolding in the midst of adversity. Your struggles are not in vain, but part of a greater plan. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Anchor your hope in God's promises. Even when everything feels like it's falling apart, God assures us of His presence, strength, and help. His righteous right hand upholds us, providing a firm foundation in times of uncertainty. Ecclesiastes 4.9.10 Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Don't hesitate to seek support from others. God often uses community to bring encouragement and assistance. Share your burdens with trusted friends, family, or a spiritual community who can help lift you up when you feel overwhelmed. James 124. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. While challenges may seem overwhelming, consider them opportunities for growth. In the midst of adversity, God is refining your faith and building perseverance. Embrace the journey of maturity and completeness that comes through enduring trials. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. In times of chaos, cultivate a spirit of gratitude. Find reasons to rejoice, pray continually, and give thanks. Gratitude shifts our focus from what is going wrong to what we can be thankful for, creating a positive perspective even in difficult circumstances. Psalm 46, 10. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. When everything feels out of control, surrender to God. Be still and acknowledge His sovereignty. Allow God to take charge, exalting His presence in your life. Surrendering control brings peace, knowing that God is orchestrating events for your ultimate good. Hebrews 10.36 You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what He has promised. Patience is a virtue developed in the crucible of adversity. Trust in God's timing and continue to persevere. Your endurance in doing God's will leads to the fulfillment of His promises. Be patient, for God is faithful. Psalm 139, 23, 24. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Use challenging times as an opportunity for introspection. Allow God to search your heart, revealing any areas that need His healing touch. Embrace the process of self-discovery and allow God to lead you on the path everlasting. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the darkest moments, hold on to hope. 
Trust in the God of hope who fills you with joy and peace. Allow the Holy Spirit to infuse you with an overflow of hope, knowing that God is working behind the scenes for your benefit. Galatians 6 2. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Seek solace in the support of a community of believers. Share your burdens and let others share theirs with you. In this mutual exchange, you fulfill Christ's law of love. Together, as a united body, find comfort and strength through the shared journey of faith. Colossians 3.13 Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Extend forgiveness to those who may have caused pain. Just as the Lord forgives you, embrace the transformative power of forgiveness. Release the burden of resentment and experience healing that leads to spiritual and emotional renewal. 1 Peter 3.8 Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Amid challenges, cultivate a heart of compassion. Be sympathetic and humble, echoing the love shown by Christ. In extending compassion to others, you open yourself to the transformative work of God's love in both your life and the lives of those around you. Jeremiah 29.11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Remember that God's plans for you extend beyond your current circumstances. Trust in His greater plan, even when facing adversity. God's purpose is to bring you a future filled with hope and welfare, providing reassurance in challenging times. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Embrace divine guidance as you navigate through challenges. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, acknowledging His wisdom above your own. Submit to His leading and experience the assurance that God directs your paths, even in the midst of uncertainty. Dear Beloved, may these additional insights fortify your spirit, deepen your faith, and provide a resilient foundation in times of adversity. Remember that God's promises endure and His transformative love is ever-present, guiding you toward a future filled with hope and purpose. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit accompany you on this steadfast journey of faith. Amen.